Our artist profile feature this morning, we are in conversation with multidisciplinary artist, printmaking princess and self-proclaimed monotype babe, Lebohang Mogal Mabusela. The fine arts graduate has been awarded a number of art accolades and has also participated in a number of group exhibitions around the country. Lebohang has recently showcased a new series of work titled Webinyotse at the Open Studio Exhibition of Johannesburg Words Pop-Up. And she joins us now via Zoom to walk us through how she navigates the arts landscape as a young artist. It is a big question, Lebo. Uh, a very good morning to you. How do you do it? Hi, Cynthia. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, yeah. always been passionate about the arts ever since I was a young child, like most artists. Mm. And I studied arts at Fine Arts at the Viz School of Arts and graduated back in 2018. And I've been practicing since then, trying to navigate, you know, living the life of an artist and being an adult out of art school. Yeah, yeah. Now, Lebo, why did you decide to explore the art of printmaking as your choice of, you know, what, creative expression? Yeah, so printmaking, um, some people think that printmaking is like photocopying images on a, a printer mm. in a digital way. But printmaking is also like the rest of the other art medium that exists in, within, within art, it's like paintings, like drawing, pencil drawing, pen drawing, um, and photography. So printmaking is a whole other medium speciality on its own. So I was really intrigued by the whole process of printmaking. Okay. It's very elaborate, uh, labor intensive, and like things like that. I feel like they, those are like the things that can take a person places, you know. Okay. And yeah, I was intrigued specifically by the monotype technique within the area of printmaking. Okay. And then monotype babe, how did that name come about? Because <laughs> I love monotype. <laughs> <laughs> and I called, I added the babe at the end because um, like in most fields, you know, like women are like scares mm -hmm. or maybe like suppressed. I wanted to reclaim the idea of like femininity and womanhood. So that is why I chose the name monotype babe. And also at the time I was still a student and for monotype, of printmaking, you have to be like really trained. You have to have this big experience. And at the time, I felt a little bit shy about calling myself a printmaker, thinking that, oh, I'm still learning. And so I started calling myself monotype babe for okay. the time being. And then now it's stuck with, I stuck with it. And it's now a form of like a business name. Okay. Especially for the monotype babe curatorial, my other practice where I actually collaborate with other artists mm, to mm, teach mm. them about the medium and have them, you know, explore it in their body of work. Like I worked with Levi Bowe, who was also the recipient of the Cassier Vols Award last year and was also at the Bag Factory very briefly. You know, Lebo, I'm actually glad that you touched on the issue of womanhood and femininity. I mean, you say that uh, interrogating, roasting and calling out patriarchy, racism and heteronormativity are the core themes in your practice. Take us through those themes. Yeah, those are um, the themes of, look, I've always been a feminist and my work kind of functions as like a, a way of activism in some spaces and some methodologies of my work, I'm trying to like make awareness, teach and educate. In some other spaces, you know, I'm trying to you know, really validate um, why we should be um, defiant, why we should be angry, also uplift women who are in the front lines of really interrogating um, abuse and message noir. So like in the work that I've been doing this year called Way Beyond the Johannesburg Words, it's centered around the experience of navigating the city of Joburg in the CBD. I live here and I work here, so I walk around everywhere. Like it's a space where you can walk anywhere. And there's like this culture, really terrible culture of head calling that it has been happening. I think it's so normalized 
And so I really got inspired to do a series of really small scale intimate monotypes about, you know, the cat calling culture in Joburg. Lebohang, let's talk about your creative space. Where do you go physically, emotionally and mentally for inspiration? Um, I, I don't know. I think I'm always activated creatively. So I usually work at the studio in at the back factory. Um, I enjoy working around other people. It really motivates me to okay. work more and be more creative. So the, back, the space at the back factory is like the one that's really the most inspiring because you're surrounded by community, by a lot of people. Okay. Now, you've participated in a number of group exhibitions. Tell us more about that and uh, what that experience was like. Um, I will like um, point out a few highlights of the exhibition that I've participated in, um, in the different bodies of work that I do. Um, one of the most exciting exhibitions I had participated in was at the Latitude Art Fair. And it was a bit of an installation and performance exhibition where um, I was telling these sculptures that I called on to people. And during that time, uh, there was also a protest happening. So that was really exciting mm. compared to like what I, was, what I was doing and what was happening in the country and how it really reflected in my work. And also, it was I had just recently participated. Um, graduated from university and to be invited to participate on Latitude Art Fair, like such a big platform that was really exciting as well. Yes. And the other art fairs, like the Turbine Art Fair, where I've participated a lot every year, was also really exciting in terms of like being in a space where people can come and buy your work. And my recent um, participation right now, it was a show at 44 Stanley at the gallery where I have a body of work, a group of work there. I think um, the show overall, uh, it's a group show and it's a really exciting show in terms of the theme and the artists who are also featured there. I suppose that's currently what you're working on now. And can you expect more works from you, uh, more exhibitions from you before the year ends? Um, before the year end, um, there's a, a little residency. It's not a, a studio. It's not a gallery exhibition. It's a group show where we have to come to the gallery space and working there. So the work that you see is like work in progress. To see how the studio works in their own studio. Um, the, how the artist works in their own studios. And it's going to be in Cape Town at a gallery called 20, Open 24 Hours. Mm -hmm. So I'll be working there from the 20th of December until the 9th of January. All right. Lebo Hang, lovely chatting to you and uh, all the best. Hey. Thank you. Lovely chatting to you. All right. Have a great day now, Lebo Hang. You too. Okay, Lebohang Mogal Mabusela is a multidisciplinary artist, printmaking princess and self-made proclaimed, uh, and, you know, monotype babe, and was just in conversation with her about her journey in the art space. As we wrap up this week, what are some of the big stories or highlights that caught you?